Hi, my family. My name is Jennifer, and I am here with your workout of the day, which today is going to be an EMOM workout. EMOM means every minute on the minute. So we've got 19 exercises that we're going to go through. I'm going to demonstrate each one of them. I'm going to give you a rep count. As soon as you finish those reps, you're done with that exercise. And whatever time you have left within that one minute, you can towel off grab a drink of water. If you really want a couple of different challenge options, you can hold a plank for the remainder of that minute, or you can double the rep count that's in today's workout. So for example, on the pendulum push-ups, your count is 10. If you want the challenge in one minute, your count doubles to 20. Got it? All right, let's get started. Our first exercise is a weighted jumping jack. And we're gonna grab a medium weight dumbbell. You can also do this without a dumbbell. You can also do this by taking the hop out of your jumping jack. So you've got 20 jumping jacks. So we're right here. Who's keeping count? Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Great work. All right, moving on. Exercise number two. We've got a plie squat with a punch. So we're going to grab some light dumbbells. Fives are probably the heaviest that women want to go. Men, you may be able to go eights or tens. Um, I've got three pounders here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get into a plie squat. So our base is wide, toes are pointed at 45 degree angles, all right? So we're gonna sink down into that plie squat and we've got 20 punches while we hold this squat. So we're right here. Three. Thirteen, 14, 15, 16. 18, 19, 20. Beautiful job. Advanced folks, or those wanting a little bit more intensity, you've got 40 of those. All right, exercise number two, I'm sorry, three, is a pendulum push-up. It's a different kind of push-up that we've not done before. It can be done from your toes or your knees, your choice. Grab your mat. I'm gonna angle mine a little bit so you can kind of see where we're going. So, push-up position, you've got 10 of these. Starting out, your high plank, you're gonna come down and push up, then you're gonna swing to the right side, push up, center, left side. Knees, same thing. Walk it to the right, back to the center, walk it to the left back to the center. Those are your pendulum push-ups. Tens, twenties if you're going a little bit uh, more advanced today. Right side plank with a needle thread. So we're coming back to that mat. You're gonna be in a side plank position. You can do this a number of different ways. You can either be on your forearm, you can be on your hand, your legs can be extended all the way out, or you can drop that lower leg, whatever works best for you. Hand comes overhead, and we're threading that hand through the space between our bicep and our rib cage. All the while working to keep those hips pulled up to the ceiling. We don't wanna let them sink. All right, so you got 20 on the right side, don't worry, the left side is coming up. All right, we're moving on to froggers. You've got 15 of these. Froggers, a little bit more of a cardiovascular move. Your base is wide. We're coming down in the center and we're exploding up. Your option is to take that hop out and come to those toes at the very top. All right, 15 of those. Squat with an overhead press. So, 
Again, dumbbells, wide base. We're gonna come down to a squat position, and then we're gonna take those hands overhead to a press. So here we go, squat, press, squat, press. Sinking back into those heels, sitting all the way back in that booty. I want you to make sure those knees don't go out over your toes. Beautiful work. All right, moving on. I hate to say it, but we're back to those push-ups. Walkout push-ups right here. We've got another 10 of these, so we're back to our mat. Standing position. We're gonna walk it out, push up, walk it back in. If you're doing these from your knees, you're gonna walk it out, drop to your knees, push up, walk it back up. All right, nice work. All right, so now we're back to that left side plank with the needle thread, just like we did on the right. So left side plank, we're gonna thread that needle through the space and back up, all right? You remember that one, so I'm not gonna demo it. Jumping lunges, we've got 10 of these. So, if a jumping lunge isn't for you today, you're just going to give me 10 alternating lunges. Otherwise, the rest of you are here. Three, six, eight, ten. Beautiful job. All right, hip bridge with a chest fly. We're coming back down to our mat, grabbing our medium weight dumbbells. This is kind of like a two for one exercise. So, coming down to those mats, I want you to lift those hips up towards the ceiling as though you've got a surfboard strapped to the front of your body. So everything is nice and straight and engaged. Dumbbells come overhead, and you've got chest flies right here. So a slight bend in the elbow, meeting at the top. Squeezing that booty the whole time. All right, very good work. So our next exercise is a right side reverse lunge with a bicep curl. So we're really getting that lower body today. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lunge back and we're gonna add a bicep curl. So here it is. You've got 20 total. So let's do 10 on each leg. A little bit of balance work too. Awesome job. All right, we're gonna hang on to that dumbbell, or if you happen to have a medicine ball at home, you can use this, you can even use a basketball. What we're gonna do is we're gonna lunge back with our right leg, and we're gonna rotate this ball towards the front leg. So, here we go. Rotating back, so I'm sorry, stepping back, rotating back to the center. Rotate, center. I want nice, big lunges. And then you're gonna switch sides. Awesome job. All right, guys, we're almost there. We've got high knees for 30 seconds. A little bit of cardio work right here. If you don't wanna do high knees, you can jog in place too. So high knees are right here. Driving those knees up towards the ceiling. March in place, or you can jog. Your choice. All right, moving on. We've got a squat with a front kick. So, wide base. We're squatting down. Kick. Squat. Kick. Squat. Kick. 
switching sides, kicking through that heel and bringing it back in. A lot of power. You can alternate legs or you can do half on one side, half on the other, whichever works for you. All right, guys, left side lunge with the bicep curl. So earlier we did the right side. I mentioned I demoed the left side. That's where that fits in, right here. All right, we've also got that lunge with the oblique rotation. If you did, I think we said you could rotate up there um, on the last couple of ones that we did. You can either do all of them there or you can rotate or uh, switch it out, your choice. All right, we've got jump squats. We're almost there. Three more exercises and then you've got a one minute plank to call it good. All right, jump squats. So we're right here. Similar to that frogger. So as you land, really stick it, press it up through those glutes as you explode up. We've got reverse grip rows. So we're coming back to those medium to heavy dumbbells. And we're gonna hinge at the hip. So, Back is nice and flat. You've got your hinge right here. Grip is a reverse grip. So your palms are going to be facing the ceiling. You're pulling into your body, extending out, and pulling in. Beautiful. All right, guys. Our last two exercises are going to be ab exercises. You've got 20 bicep, bicycles, I'm sorry, and then you're gonna finish it out with a one minute plank. So bicycles, flat on your mat, shoulder blades come up off the floor, and that shoulder is working to meet the knee in the center. Nice and slow and controlled. You got 20 of these. All right, I said it, our last exercise is a one minute plank. So no break here, you get it when you're done. You can plank, a couple of different options, high plank, low plank, you can plank from your toes, you can also plank from your knees. So let me show you your options really quick. Here's your low plank, forearms are flat on the mat, glutes and abdominals are engaged, body is nice and flat. Here it is from your hands, those shoulders are stacked right over your wrists. Again, everything is nice and engaged. And here it is from your knees. So back is nice and flat, just like you've got that strap, surfboard strap to your back. One minute. If you need to take a break within that minute, go ahead and do so. Otherwise, you're done. Great job on this EMOM. Have an awesome day.